ladies and gentlemen, we are live here on Monday Night Raw. And, and evidently, the WWE Champion Randy Orton, the Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle, the main event of WrestleMania Sunday, a brawl has broken out in the intro to our, our telecast tonight, and Riddle is going after the champion. Remember what happened this past Saturday night at Saturday Night's main event, Riddle retaining his WrestleMania main event over Austin Theory. And then the WWE Champion Randy Orton hit the ring, bloodied Riddle, dropped him with not one, not two, but three RKO's, and evidently, Riddle wants some of the Viper before WrestleMania. This is how we are kicking off Monday Night Raw tonight. On the road to WrestleMania, absolute chaos. Tensions are running high in the locker room, so close to the grandest stage of them all. So you get a stage, Randy Orton almost went tumbling into the light fixtures. This is absolute chaos, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to kick off Raw. This is not a match. This is simply a fight. The WrestleMania main event, former members of RK Bro are brawling away at the top of the entrance ramp right now. We gotta restore some order. We gotta get more than one referee out there to get these two men broken apart before we don't have any WrestleMania main event, before these two men put each other on the shelf, before we get to Tampa Bay on February 25th and 26th. Absolute chaos. The Royal Rumble match winner has been waiting since August to get his hands on Randy Orton, and the blood is finally spilling over. After Saturday night's main event this past week, Riddle has had enough. He wants his hands on the WWE Champion, and he's gonna put his lights out here tonight on Raw. We have still got a full slate ahead of you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, but Matt Riddle has made a beeline and has made a statement on the WWE Champion. Oh no, he's not done. Charging towards our end with a knee. Matt Riddle is out to make some noise here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Oh no, at the top of the stage. Suplex and he hooks it. Well, we gotta restore some order here, ladies and gentlemen, but welcome to Monday Night Raw and still to come in your main event. Karrion Cross one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Cross put out an open challenge, Sheamus obliged, and these two men will meet mano a mano, man to man. It's gonna be a fight in your main event here on Raw. Well, one hell of a way to start the show, ladies and gentlemen. We are nearing WrestleMania, getting closer and closer to the grandest stage of them all. And those two men who just interrupted our intro and brought out to the entranceway. As we mentioned, it is signed, sealed, and official for WrestleMania Sunday in the main event. The WWE Championship will be decided as Randy Orton puts the gold on the line versus the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, the original bro, Matt Riddle. And also coming up at WrestleMania, the invincible Ilya Dragunov will contest for Intercontinental Gold after he defeated Big E on Saturday night's main event. And one of the best matches we have seen in quite some time, the former NXT United Kingdom champion earning his way on the road to WrestleMania, and he is set for action yet again, here to kick us off on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. Well, Ilya Dragunov, the self-proclaimed invincible one, will meet the Bruiserweight one-on-one -on -one for the prestigious Intercontinental Championship coming up in Tampa Bay, Florida on WrestleMania Saturday. Two former NXT United Kingdom champions Two men who know each other well, but have never faced one-on-one -on -one inside a WWE ring. They are gonna battle it out on the show of shows, the grandest stage of them all. Saturday night, February 25th, Sunday night, February 26th. And this man, Ilya Dragunov, as we mentioned, defeating the New Day's Big E in an absolute slobber knocker this past Saturday night in Atlanta to earn his opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. So Dragunov, before he gets to go one-on-one -on -one at the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne in Tampa Bay, he's got his hands full tonight. 
with an age of Alexander. Cedric's in the house, set for one-on-one -on -one action. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. WrestleMania is gonna be a live premiere weekend and it is coming your way Saturday night, February 25th and Sunday night, February 26th. Both will be 5 p.m. Eastern time starts. It is a live premiere weekend for the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And what a way to kick things off tonight. These two young talents from Monday Night Raw set to go one-on-one. -on -one. Cedric Alexander, who's been trying to rewrite a new path in his career ever since the Hurt Business broke up in the WWE draft back in November. Cedric, unfortunately, has not been very lucky in the win column, but has certainly been gathering the attention of the WWE Universe and has been putting on his opponents, pushing them to the limit. Unfortunately for Cedric, he came up short on Saturday night's main event against the Nigerian giant Omas, the man who will go one-on-one -on -one with Brock Lesnar on WrestleMania Saturday. Alexander has been pushing, as we mentioned, these superstars to the limit. Two matches against Rob Van Dam in recent months, unfortunately came up short. Came up short against the Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne as well as the WWE Champion Randy Orton. But each and every time Cedric has entered the ring, he's gaining more believers in the WWE Universe. We know he can get it done. He's a former Cruiserweight Champion, former Tag Team Champion, but he's trying to write a new path in his career here on Monday Night Raw. Going one-on-one -on -one with the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship tonight. This is going to be a big opportunity for Cedric. If he can defeat Dragunov, you gotta imagine that puts Alexander in line for a future Intercontinental Championship opportunity. Ilya Dragunov riding a wave of momentum as of late and on the road to WrestleMania, he doesn't want to see that momentum come to a screeching halt anytime soon. Scooping a slam to Cedric Alexander and now Dragunov heading up to the second rope. What has the Invincible One got in mind? Alexander a little dazed here. Able to avoid whatever Dragunov was looking for. Look for a bit of a forearm, possibly cutting him in half in the corner. And back into the ring, and he follows it up with a drop kick. Cedric so agile from bell to bell. It's only a matter of time for Cedric Alexander starts putting the pieces together again here on Raw and starts picking up some victories. He's got to stay out of his own head, though. He's got to pick his moments right. Cross body there on Dragunov. And into the cover, Dragunov's foot a little close to the ropes. The referee's going to call it anyway. Only a, a one count there, though, for Cedric Alexander. I'm sure the Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne, who was recently successful here on Monday Night Raw against NXT's Joe Gacy. I'm sure he's got his eyes locked on this matchup, trying to scout his number one contender for WrestleMania. Dragunov outlasted the New Day's Big E on Saturday night's main event. They went the distance in that match. Dragunov earned his opportunity for WrestleMania. The former NXT United Kingdom champions looking good. But not right now, as Cedric Alexander's all over the number one contender. Still to come tonight on Raw, as we mentioned, Karrion Cross one-on-one -on -one with Sheamus in your main event. What a fight that is gonna be here on the red brand. And Alexander now, he's got dragged off of the outside, and Cedric Alexander taking things in the air. The former Cruiserweight Champion trying to make some noise here tonight on Raw. Caution in the win, any means necessary to pick up the victory tonight. Cedric wants that victory and he wants it bad. Sending Dragunov back into the ring. The age of Alexander coming from the top with a beautiful frog splash. Will that do it? Not just yet as Dragunov gets the shoulder up. What a great way to kick us off, at least match-wise here on Raw. We already had a brawl between the WrestleMania main event stars. Interrupted our intro tonight, but nonetheless, Dragunov avoiding disaster there. Oh no. Power bomb situation, down goes Cedric. The number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship wants to keep riding that wave of momentum on the road to WrestleMania. He's got Cedric in a precarious situation right now. A couple of lariats splashes him in the corner. But Cedric able to get the shoulder up and the matchup lives on another moment. Ragnall thought he had it there. Cedric Alexander, though, kipping up the heart of this man. Able to power 
Dragunov down to the canvas. Cedric Alexander, I gotta believe the stronger of these two individuals. I believe Dragunov's the harder hitter. But pound for pound, you gotta think Cedric definitely got the more power in his arsenal. Obviously Cedric able to take it to the air. We saw him a dive over the top rope moments ago. Ilya Dragunov, one of the hardest hitters in WWE. Former NXT United Kingdom champion for a reason. Enters out Cedric there, sending him into the corner, and what a shot from the invincible Dragunov. This is the man that dethroned Imperium's Walter from his 870-day NXT United Kingdom championship reign several years ago. If he can do that, I don't think there's anything stopping Dragunov from getting the victories he's looking for and possibly leaving WrestleMania, the Intercontinental Champion. Taking Cedric to the canvas right there off that fireman's carry, and now in the corner, full steam ahead. And I don't think he's slowing down anytime soon. Drag it off. Continues to build momentum towards Tampa Bay, Florida. What a way to kick us off here on Monday Night Raw. Cedric putting up a great effort, unfortunately coming up short again. But there is your winner, the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. After a great matchup, looks like we're going to get a little sign of respect. You love to see it. Cedric doing all he can to rewrite his career here on Raw. Tonight wasn't his night. Tonight belongs to Dragunov, and Ilya Dragunov will battle the Bruiserweight on WrestleMania Saturday for the gold. news coming out of Saturday night's main event. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, is on his way back to WWE and he returns on WrestleMania Saturday. But Tegan Knox with Shotzi in her corner, set to go one-on-one -on -one with one half of the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Indy Hartwell. And Shotzi has had her recent issues as well as Tegan Knox with the way. Dating back a few weeks, Candice LeRae, or excuse me, Indy Hartwell had picked up a victory over Shotzi with, of course, Candice LeRae in her corner, but it was last week here on Monday Night Raw that Shotzi evened the odds and had Tegan Knox back in her. Shotzi was able to get a victory over the woman on your now right, Candice LeRae. But now tonight, the roles are reversed and Indy Hartwell, the other half of the women's tag team champion, set the lock horns with a former number one contender for the women's championship, Tegan Knox. She had battled Asuka back at the Elimination Chamber on the 22nd of January, came up short on that night. But could Tegan Knox and Shotzi be eyeing the white and gold around the waist of the way? A victory tonight after Shotzi's victory last week on Raw could certainly do that new tag team wonders. And what a night it has been on Raw so far, ladies and gentlemen. The WrestleMania Sunday main event for the WWE Championship. Randy Orton and Matt Riddle rolling their way through the entrance out into the arena, opening us up here tonight. Absolute chaos. And moments ago, Ilya Dragunov picking up that exciting victory over Cedric Alexander. Still got the Celtic Warriors, Sheamus versus Karrion Cross to come, plus Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic battle the New Day in the semifinals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The winners of that match move on to WrestleMania Saturday to fight in the finals of that tournament. Awesome night on Raw so far, and still so much to come. Here we go, Tegan Knox and Indy Hartwell one-on-one. -on -one. Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae have held the tag team gold since Thanksgiving night of last year at Survivor Series. They've retained the gold over Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan back at Raw home coming in December. You remember back at the Royal Rumble on January 1st, they retained the gold again over Naomi and Sasha Banks. Could Tegan Knox and Shotzi be next up to challenge for the gold? A win tonight could certainly do this new team wonders. It's really Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell who unintentionally put Tegan and Shotzi in this predicament. 
Outnumbered Shotzi a few weeks ago on Raw, and Shotzi wasn't having none of it. She found Tegan Knox to watch her back. And now this new alliance certainly has got to be eyeing up the Women's Tag Team Championships of the world. We will tell in due time. The result of this matchup could give us our next challengers for the Women's Tag Team Championships as Tegan Knox unloading on Indy Hartwell. Wait a minute there. You saw Candice LeRae take Tegan's eye off the ball for a moment and enhance the momentum to Indy Hartwell. We touched on it a moment ago, but of course, the current WWE Women's Champion, Asuka, she retained the title over Tegan Knox at Elimination Chamber, but also back at the Chamber in Anaheim, Becky Lynch, the man, outlasting five other women to become the number one contender for the Women's Championship of the World, and she will battle Asuka for the gold on WrestleMania Sunday. It's gonna be a great matchup coming up at Raymond James Stadium, Tampa Bay, Florida. On the 26th of February. Tegan Knox and Indy Hartwell taking a fight to the outside here. You gotta wonder Tegan Knox's condition. I mean, it's been a couple of weeks since the Elimination Chamber, but when you're in a fight with the Empress of tomorrow, Asuka, you're gonna be feeling that for a couple of weeks. Nonetheless, Tegan's down on the outside. Indy Hartwell, no stranger to taking things to the air, and drops the axe hammer on the shiningest wizard of WWE. Indy Hartwell, she ain't gonna be afraid of getting a count out victory here. As long as she gets her hand raised for the way, Indy and Candace are gonna be walking away with smiles on their face, but Tegan Knox not going down without a fight. She has got great heart, this woman. This double underhook German into the cover on Indy Hartwell. Will that do it? Indy gets the shoulder up. Talked about her, Indy Hartwell not afraid to take it to the air. Definitely, I would say, the more agile and high-flying of the two competitors in the ring right now, but Tegan Knox certainly the better striker. Don't call her the shiningest wizard for nothing. Her shining wizard will knock your daylights out for good. Meanwhile, code red by Tegan Knox. Down goes Indy. And oh, that was a close call, but Hartwell gets the shoulder up. Tegan Knox almost had her right there. Oh, wait a minute, kick to the gut. And speaking of the shining wizard, there it is. Tegan into the cover. Shotzi loves what she sees at ringside, and that's a big time victory for the shiningest wizard of WWE. And you gotta believe, after these last two weeks, those two women right there, Tegan Knox and Shotzi, have had to earn themselves a WWE. Wait a minute. Wait, the fight is on again. The WWE Champion Randy Orton, Matt Riddle, the brawl is on again in the backstage area. These two men need to be torn apart and taken to other sides of the arena. What the hell? Through the table to the concrete. These two men cannot wait for WrestleMania. I don't know who started this brawl. Riddle laid out Orton earlier. I don't know if Orton came back for more or if Riddle wasn't done, but regardless, the WrestleMania Sunday main event is going to be in jeopardy if these two men keep throwing away with each other. Somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody's going to get seriously injured before the greatest stage of them all. Randy Orton puts Riddle through a table and now uses the steel chair on the number one contender. We need some help back there. Several staff members and referees. We're going to need an entire locker room to tear these two men apart before WrestleMania. Riddle's gonna get hurt. Riddle's gonna get injured if Randy Orton keeps swinging that steel chair and he might even reopen that wound from Saturday night's main event. We need some damn help back there before WrestleMania Sunday's main event is absolutely null and void. This is ridiculous. Well, the action continues here on Monday Night Raw. The Viking Raiders and DIY pair off in singles competition. Champa versus Ivar plus Johnny Gargano one-on-one -on -one with Eric. And the winners of those matchups see Johnny Gargano picking up the win over Eric and Tommaso Champa defeating Ivar. The tag team champions of WWE building some momentum towards their title defense on WrestleMania Sunday. Well, we are back inside the arena. It has been a chaotic night on the road to WrestleMania, but it is time for your first of two semifinal matches in the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. 
here on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic! Well, over the last several weeks on Raw and SmackDown, we saw the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic play out. Four teams remain, two from Raw and two from Friday Night SmackDown, being Legato Del Fantasma and Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. Those two teams will fight this Friday night, but right here on Monday Night Raw, we are set for the first of two semifinal matches in the prestigious Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The first time this tournament is taking place on the main roster, and it will conclude at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic defeating the Viking Raiders in the first round. And I'm sure these two men not only would love to win the entire tournament, but would love to get their hands on the two men that took away their gold back at the Royal Rumble, that being Johnny Gargano, and of course, Tommaso Ciampa. And his partner from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian. And of course, we mentioned the tag team champions because whoever wins the finals of this tournament on WrestleMania Saturday is moving right along 24 hours later to WrestleMania Sunday to challenge DIY for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. It's going to be a busy weekend in the tag team division and certainly a busy weekend for at least one of these four teams that remain in the Dusty Classic. Again, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, they had won the World Tag Team titles back on September the 10th of last year at Judgment Day. Held them all the way till January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. But they were dethroned by Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY. So they defeated the Viking Raiders a few weeks ago in an epic matchup in the first round. But their opponents defeated the, the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. And now all roads lead to the semifinals here tonight on Raw. And at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. We're looking at two men who have already had a decorated tag team career. Along with Big E, how many tag team championship reigns have the New Day had? Kofi Kingston, of course, a former WWE champion, a former Intercontinental champion, United States champion, future Hall of Famers, no doubt about it, but still a long career to go for at least these two men that we are witnessing right now, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. And certainly a new obstacle and a new mountain to climb in, Dusty, in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, a tournament that they have never competed in and a tournament that they would love to win for the very first time and add it to their already long list of accolades. The winners of this matchup are moving right along to WrestleMania Saturday to challenge the winners of the SmackDown semifinal matchup, whether that be Legado Del Fantasma or Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. We'll find out this Friday night, but here we go. The semifinals are on here on Monday Night Raw. Xavier Woods and Dominic Dijakovic kicking things off on the red brand. What an exciting tournament this has been so far. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. 2v2 versus the Viking Raiders a few weeks ago. Was, once again, they followed up and I think even topped their matchup from Raw Homecoming last December. What a match it was two weeks ago on Raw. Absolutely an early 2023 match of the year candidate. And again, as for the New Day, they defeated, oh wait a minute, look at that strength and agility by Xavier Woods. Just last week on Raw, the New Day defeating the Street Profits. Another exciting matchup in the Dusty Classic. Two earned victories here tonight. And this Friday night on SmackDown, Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza, who defeated Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura in the first round, will take on Mustafa Ali and Ricochet, who just defeated Imperium in the first round of the Dusty Classic. And here comes Kofi Kingston off the tag. Springboard drop kick to Dijakovic. As this matchup progresses, what a night it has been 
here on Monday Night Raw. You want to talk about the road to WrestleMania and tensions running high. Look no further. I mean, all the action we have seen in the ring tonight has been absolutely extraordinary, but the story of tonight, Matt Riddle and Randy Orton, a WrestleMania Sunday main event, they just can't keep their hands off each other. This has been a story that has been building for almost a year here in the WWE since Randy Orton stabbed Riddle in the back in the parking garage. What was it, last May? I don't have the date in front of me, but it has been a long time coming for those two men. Riddle's been wanting to get his hands on Randy Orton ever since Extreme Rules last August. And those two men fought one-on-one -on -one for the only time, and Randy Orton promised it would be the only time he gives Riddle, the only chance he gave Riddle to get his retribution for everything that Randy Orton did. But remember, Randy Orton used that sledgehammer on that night and left the final nail in the coffin, buried RK Bro for good and left it in his past. And it went on to become the WWE Champion and has been absolutely dominant ever since. It really took Matt Riddle a couple months to get his mojo back and he really secured it back by winning the Royal Rumble back on January 1st. Everything those two men have been through, Matt Riddle putting his WrestleMania main event spot on the line this past Saturday night on Saturday night's main event, retaining it over Austin Theory. Only for Randy Orton to hit the ring and drop the number one contender with not one, not two, but three RKO's and leaving him in a pile of his own blood in the middle of that ring. There's been a storied rivalry between those two men and it's gonna come to a head Sunday night, February 26th in Tampa Bay, Florida on WrestleMania Sunday. And meanwhile, back to the action inside of the ring, Kofi Kingston dropping the boom on Dominic Dijakovic. The New Day gonna move on here, Damian Priest in there to break things up. Xavier Woods, however, going after the archer. Dijakovic, oh no, the bigger competitor rolling up Kofi Kingston trying to steal the win, not just yet. Both these teams want to get their hands on DIY. You know, Dijakovic, oh, wait a minute, what a maneuver! The agility of this big man. We talk about it every time Dijakovic and Priest are inside of that ring. But those two men are absolutely the complete packages from bell to bell. As we mentioned, Dijakovic and Priest, they, you know, they lost the tag team titles to DIY at the Royal Rumble, but the New Day got a bone to pick with Gargano and Ciampa as well. It was back on the 22nd of January in Anaheim at the Elimination Chamber where they contested for the tag team titles against Gargano and Ciampa and obviously came up short. Xavier Woods tapping out to the Gargano escape. There was no escape for the New Day in Anaheim at the Elimination Chamber. Both these teams want to get their hands on the tag team champions again, but those two SmackDown teams want their opportunity. Lusty Classic has been awesome so far. It's only going to keep getting better. One of these teams is moving on to WrestleMania. Tagged Xavier Woods there, but Dijakovic lying in wait, dropping the hammer on Xavier Woods. Dijakovic going to continue to work on Xavier Woods here. We mentioned Dijakovic and Priest, two complete superstars from bell to bell. Dijakovic throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Xavier Woods, using his height, using his power, coming off the top rope, using his strikes. They call this man a rare breed for a reason. And now, going for the power bomb on Xavier Woods. Transitions to a fireman's carry. Look at this, the strength by Dijakovic, but he may have been playing a little too many games as Xavier Woods getting out of it in a springboard. Bulldogs the big man down to the canvas. Gonna go high risk to look for high reward to take the big man down. And Xavier Woods heading into the corner now. He has got his eyes locked on the rare breed Dijakovic. Oh no, look at this springboard. Clothesline there. And Xavier Woods springing up into that clothesline, into the cover with Damian Priest again in there to break things up. And Woods going after Priest, Kofi's in there. Remember, he's got to gain control. We got a Pier 6 brawl going on in the ring. Meanwhile, Kofi laying out Damian Priest. And Dijakovic with a super kick on Woods. The chaos, this thing is breaking down before our very eyes. Kofi takes care of Woods, or excuse me, of Priest, but Dijakovic. I thought he was going for another super kick there, but Woods was able to dodge it. Both these teams want to secure their spot in the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic more than ever. There's another counter by Woods. 
UDT into the cover on the rare breed. Kofi K oh, Kofi Kingston, I think, might accidentally broke up that pinfall there. Rare mistake by the New Day. Gotta wonder if that's gonna come back to haunt him. I don't think that was, of course, Kofi's intentional what he was going for there, but I think the referee just called what he saw. Nonetheless, Dijakovic sends Woods to the outside, and here comes the big man with the crossbody. What a tag team matchup here on Monday Night Raw. Dijakovic, who's been in this thing for the last couple, couple of minutes, tagging in the archer, Damian Priest. That's a much needed tag for the former tag team champions. Xavier Woods on the outside, Damian Priest picking his spots right now. I don't think, I thought he might have been thinking about going to the air. I think decided against it, misses for the axe hammer. Xavier Woods trying to outrun Priest here. to make Damian Priest regret hesitating on that decision. Priest, however, throwing haymakers. Xavier Woods been in this thing for a couple of minutes as well. The New Day needs a tag. And as we say that, Woods brings Priest into enemy territory, but Priest able to avoid it. A couple of haymakers by Xavier Woods, and he follows it up with an A. And he's not done just yet. Let him kick right to the chest. There's Priest battling back. You see the sense of urgency of these two teams as this matchup starts to get into deep waters. Back and forth, the momentum swings in the semifinals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Damian Priest back into it. Woods is out, and he definitely is out after that big boot. Lights out for Xavier Woods. The Archer has got Woods right where he wants him here. Pushes him off against the ropes, but Woods able to avoid whatever he had in mind. Runs at Priest and takes him off his feet. Woods is fighting back, but he needs a tag. Kofi has not been in this matchup for a few minutes. It has been all Xavier Woods finally starting to get some momentum, but the New Day needs some fresh legs in there now more than ever. Woods grabbing a hold of the Archer, Damian Priest. And send him in a New Day corner, and there's the tag to Kofi Kingston. Oh no, wait a minute, this is what won them. The match against the Street Profits, midnight hour by the New Day. Kofi off the top, the power of Woods into the cover. Dijakovic in to break things up, however. It was that midnight hour that secured the spot in the semifinals against the Street Profits. But Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, no strangers to go in the distance. They came prepared tonight. Kofi better get back into this thing. He has turned his attention to Dominic Dijakovic, but Damian Priest is still the legal man. But Kofi's looking to eliminate Dan Dijakovic from this matchup, rushing leg sweep into the apron. This thing is breaking down yet again before our very eyes. Priest, however, get ahead to the outside, targeting the New Day's Kofi Kingston. At least scaring him away from his tag team partner for a moment, but Dijakovic is down and out. So is Kofi, at least for a second, and Priest sends Woods off the apron again, and an insiguri to the former WWE Champion. And Priest, eyes lasered sharp on Kofi Kingston. He's seeing red. Oh no, down goes Kofi off the reckoning. Priest into the cover to move on to WrestleMania Saturday. Kofi Kingston gets the shoulder up. And if there was any other team in there, I would say this is where they start to worry. The Priest and Dijakovic, as we just mentioned a moment ago, no stranger to go in the distance. This is what they do inside of that ring. As Damian Priest overhead throw to Xavier Woods, the power of the Archer. And Priest and Dijakovic put on an early match of the year candidate with the Viking Raiders two weeks ago. They're doing it again versus Kofi and Xavier Woods tonight. And he's got him up. Razor's edge to Kofi Kingston. And he tags in the rare breed, Dominic Dijakovic. Goes for the elbow drop, but Kofi had it scouted. There's a strike by the rare breed. Kofi not able to capitalize off the counter. And this is where the bigger competitor is going to pick apart the New Day's Kofi Kingston. Oh, no. Up and down he goes. Feast your eyes on Kofi. Dijakovic takes out Woods into the cover. Is that all she wrote? And they are moving on to WrestleMania. What a tag team affair here on Monday Night Raw. But Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic off the feast your eyes. 
are full steam ahead to Tampa Bay, Florida on the 25th of February. Here are your winners, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. Those two men will compete in the finals of the Dusty Classic on WrestleMania Saturday, but who will join them on SmackDown? Yes, indeed, WrestleMania is coming up on Saturday night, February 25th, and Sunday night, February 26th. It is a live premiere weekend for the grandest stage of them all. And ladies and gentlemen, just signed on Saturday night's main event, an epic tag team grudge match for WrestleMania Sunday. Old rivals put their differences aside. AJ Styles and the Rated R Superstar Edge take on the team of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. But next week here on Raw, it's an early preview and a chance at retribution for Edge. No Sami Zayn, no AJ Styles. It's Edge and Kevin Owens in a Royal Rumble rematch this time inside a solid steel cage. That is next week on Raw, ladies and gentlemen, but we still got your main event to come. The road to WrestleMania has been hot and heavy and it ain't slowing down just yet because it is Fight night here on Raw. And the Celtic Warrior is set to lock horns with the Punisher of the Red Brand. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior. Before we focus in, ladies and gentlemen, also just signed for next week on Raw, the phenomenal AJ Styles set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Nigerian giant Omos. Old rivals reignite that flame next week on what is already going to be a stacked edition of Monday Night Raw. Well, what a main event we have ahead. The Celtic Warrior one-on-one -on -one with the Harbinger of Doom. Karrion Cross wanted a fight. He issued an open challenge to the Monday Night Raw locker room after being upset after his loss against Pete Dunne back at the Elimination Chamber on the 22nd of January. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus, who unfortunately has not been in the winning ways the last few months, wants to right a few of those right a few of those wrongs, excuse me, and is willing to fight anybody and everybody and happily accepted this man's open challenge for tonight on Raw. It has been a raucous night on the red brand. Blood pressure rising in the locker room on the road to WrestleMania. And it's only gonna get a little bit more intense. The Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross with that wicked witch Scarlet making their way down the aisle here on Monday Night Raw. The Celtic warrior Sheamus has got a lot of guts accepting an open challenge by one of the most dominating and intimidating men to ever step foot inside a WWE ring. Only one blemish on the record of Karrion Cross since returning to the WWE back in the fall. Again, that was just a few weeks ago at the Elimination Chamber by hands of the Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne. This former two-time NXT Champion is out to right that wrong in his mind and out to send a message to the Raw and even SmackDown locker room to everybody in the WWE that you do not mess with the Harbinger of Doom, with the Punisher of Pain on Monday Night Raw, Karrion Cross. This is gonna be a fight if we ever saw one. We saw a couple of brawls already this evening. Matt Riddle and Randy Orton been tearing each other to shreds since this show kicked off. I'd hope we finally got that situation under order in the back, but nonetheless, we are set for our main event on the third to final Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania. 
Next week, AJ Styles and Omos go one-on-one, -on -one, plus Edge and Kevin Owens one-on-one -on -one in a Royal Rumble rematch. This time, it'll not be no holds barred, but it will be contested inside the confines of a solid steel cage. The road to WrestleMania continuing to heat up, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are locked and loaded. Laser focus for your main event. Sheamus, Karrion Cross, 1v1 here on Raw. This is going to be a fight, and Sheamus already off the opening bell, throwing some haymakers to the Punisher of Raw. Karrion Cross, remember, a few weeks ago, was the Raw after the Elimination Chamber had defeated Eric of the Viking Raiders, but after the matchup, absolutely put the hurt on one half of the Raiders on that night. Sending a message to the Raw locker room then, and he's looking to do it again, but Sheamus is going to be one tall task for anybody inside of that ring. Arian Cross ain't afraid of a fight. He wanted it. Sheamus has been fighting his whole life. This is a perfect fit for both of these men if I ever saw one. And Sheamus willing to throw caution in the wind. Oh, and the measures of getting his hand raised tonight. Elbow dropped to the lower back. There's WrestleMania looming. I'm sure both of these men want to find their way on the WrestleMania card, whether that be on Saturday or Sunday night. A win tonight could absolutely move you one step closer. Arian Cross now, a lariat taking Sheamus down, the former Intercontinental Champion most recently in his WWE career. Takes him down at least for a moment. And you gotta wonder, Karrion Cross, his mindset coming into this matchup, as we've already talked about, wanting to send a message to the WWE locker room after that blemish on the record at Elimination Chamber. This isn't about just winning tonight. It's about putting the fight, or bringing the fight, putting the hurt on the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. He wants to use Sheamus as a stepping stone in his Monday Night Raw career, and a lariat to the Celtic Warrior drives him into the canvas. And Cross certainly a fan of his own work inside of the squared circle as he continues to pummel the Celtic Warrior. It's an elbow, sharp elbow, right to the forehead of Sheamus. As we mentioned, it's really... Sheamus has not been in the winning ways really since Survivor Series back in on Thanksgiving night last year when his team lost to Drew McIntyre's team and he failed to regain the Intercontinental Championship at Raw Homecoming and failed to advance in the World Tag Team Championship Eliminator on the road to the Royal Rumble with his tag team partner Jinder Mahal. It's just not been going well for Sheamus. Sheamus willing to throw haymakers with anybody and believes Karrion Cross is a man he can get a victory over. This thing spilling out to the outside of the ring, now back inside the squared circle. As this absolute brawl, this bar fight continues, and over the top rope again goes Sheamus. Carrying Cross willing to pick his opponents apart. My goodness! You want to talk about throwing caution in the wind and any means necessary to pick up a victory? Carrying Cross does not give a damn tonight. But neither does Sheamus trying to fight back into this thing, but Cross ain't having none of it and sends Sheamus right into the hardest part of the ring. That wicked witch Scarlet on the outside, loving what she sees out of the harbinger of doom. Oh, I don't know. Carrying Cross, I think, might have been going for that Alabama slam, but Sheamus countered into a powerbomb. That's going to hurt like hell on the outskirts of the ring. Sheamus making his way back in. Referee's at a count of seven. Do not want to see this thing end in a count out. I'm sure these two men, both searching for a big time victory, want to get their hand raised tonight. Back inside the squared circle, this fight takes us, and Karrion Cross takes that hesitation to take advantage. Now, pummeling Sheamus, the great white, in the corner of the ring. And what a running boot scrape by Cross. Sheamus has got to be. Seeing different colors right now as Cross cuts him in half in the corner. Marion Cross again, he really has not looked for the victory in this matchup just yet. He wants to punish Sheamus. Cross put out this open challenge. He didn't care who accepted it from the Raw locker room. He just wanted somebody to fight him on Raw tonight. And you see Sheamus there getting his foot on the ropes. Referee actually catching that. You remember recently here on Raw, Edge. Sami Zayn going one-on-one, -on -one, and the same referee 
Toss edged the matchup by not seeing his foot on the ropes. Meanwhile, Karrion Cross almost stole the victory there over Sheamus. Nonetheless, the matchup continues. Karrion Cross and Sheamus locking horns, sends him into the ropes. The back slam, almost a power slam, overhead throw by the Punisher of Pain, Karrion Cross. A lot of haymakers being thrown in this matchup. And now, giving Sheamus a taste of his own medicine off the power bomb, just like Sheamus gave him a few moments ago on the outside of the ring. And again, not looking for the victory, at least not for the moment. Throwing left, throwing right, throwing kicks, but there's Sheamus throwing the axe hammer across. Sheamus ain't going down. Without a fight tonight, he is swinging for the fences and he's got Cross up. And speaking of the great white, the great white shark sending Cross through the waves right there, down to the canvas, and now he's locking him up. Oh no, going for that four-leaf clover submission hold. Cross reaching towards the ropes, but Sheamus may be on the verge of tapping up Cross and there's a rope break. Sheamus, don't usually see him put the submission holds onto his opponents, but again, both these men searching for a victory tonight. A much needed one at that, and Karrion Cross. That high knee takes Sheamus off his feet for a moment. Another, another right. And a headbutt to Sheamus. Cross is throwing everything he's got at the Celtic Warrior tonight. Every body part, targeting every limb of the Celtic Warriors. He sends him into the corner. Sheamus has got to be feeling the pain right now as Cross sits him on the top rope and Jesus throws him down to the floor. Nothing pretty about that, but certainly effective. Sheamus taking a tumble on the outskirts of the ring as the fight once again continues here at ringside. Sheamus is down and out right now, carrying Cross. Wants to have his way with the great light of WWE. Sheamus has got other plans, though. Fighting back. Oh, no. Backbreaker to Cross. And he could be looking for the, for the triple threat here. Three of them in a row. Triple backbreakers to Cross. And he's got to get him back inside the win back inside the ring, excuse me, to get the victory. Referee's at a count of seven right now. Somebody's got to break that count. Sheamus has got Cross in a fireman's carry position. These guys are on the verge of being counted out. Count of nine, carrying Cross, breaking the fireman's carry. Oh, there's the count of 10. Oh man, we got a double count out. That, that's disappointing to see. That is disappointing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Cross not happy about that. Carrying Cross and Sheamus counted out tonight. A double count out, a draw between these two fighters and Cross is pissed off at the result. And he has taken the fight to Sheamus. This match is over, ladies and gentlemen. There is no winner, but Karrion Cross doesn't give a damn. He wants to send a message to everybody at World Wrestling Entertainment that you do not step with the Punisher of Pain. And down goes Sheamus again, and Karrion Cross is pummeling this man on the outside of the ring. This is where we need to get a couple of referees out here. I know they've been busy, hopefully, getting Riddle and Randy Orton apart tonight, but now we got another situation on our hands here in the arena. Get oh, wait a minute. Well, it looks like somebody else is gonna take the fight to carry a cross. Rob Van Dam, the man who recently contested for the WWE Championship back in Elimination Chamber is in the house on Monday Night Raw. And Van Dam's making a beeline towards the ring. He is touring. Targeted carry across and over the top rope he goes. RVD not waiting for staff, not waiting for referees. Carry across wants to make a statement. Mr. Monday Night has got no problem stepping up to the plate. Oh, RVD, RVD wants to take this thing to the extreme. A kendo stick to carry across over the head. To the gut, to the rib cage. Van Dam again is unloading on Cross. You want to talk about sending a message? Look no further than the whole damn show of Monday Night Raw. RVD said you want to fight. Here's the fight. A splash off the apron. RVD answering the call of the Harbinger of Doom. Karrion Cross may have bit off more than he can chew. Is Rob Van Dam looking for a fight? 
Thank you for joining us here on Monday Night Raw. The road to WrestleMania continues next week. Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.